What is up, heroes? This is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we... I believe we made it to Lambda, where we are looking for Catherine, and I left you guys with a... We creeped just a little bit forward, and something... Something was rather unsettling over there. And... I guess all we have left is to go check out what that is. So... Without further ado... Wait, that's right, I need, I need something to distract, right? Although we haven't been too effective at distracting <laughs> recently, have we? Catherine? Don't, Don't look at it. it. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. So we're gonna hide over here for now. I like this idea. <laughs> so clearly, as we looked at it, things did not go so well. What is that sound? It's probably getting closer, given that distortion. Are we good? Oh, okay, thank you. Good to know. I wanted to see what was inside this room on the left. But thank you for the assistance, Catherine. We deeply appreciate it. Simon, are you there? I'm hurt. Yep, I'm here. Trying to find you. While trying not to be found myself. Simon, right here. What? No, not again. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take it anymore. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell <laughs> looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me uh -oh. with something? Uh-oh. What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay. Focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Simon's like, for real? When the Omnitool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Interesting. Sure, whatever. So a Cortex chip, that's presumably what's allowing Catherine to think as she is in this robot? Obviously blurring the line, is she human or not? What did you want me to do? The tool you're carrying. Plug it into the computer over there. Alright. Just plug it into the terminal. Yep, on it. Is, is it this terminal? Or is it a terminal over here? I don't think it's a terminal over here. This looks like it was an Omni tool at some point. Ah, this one. Lambda terminal 27 activated. The Omni tool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? All right. Give this a try. This is so weird. <laughs> so we're about to place this Cortex chip in our Omni tool? Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. It's also weird, you can it's like kind of infected. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omni tool? Thanks. So what's the project about? My project. Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from 
uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything. I'm all ears. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Interesting. So... What was it you said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Yeah, that's really weird. And it, I guess that provides the connection here. We are probably not the real Simon. We are probably a scan of Simon at that moment that has been brought into the future via the Ark or, or something, right? The question is, how was our scan uploaded into a machine? Are we currently a machine? Why do we look so humanoid compared to all of the other, uh, you know, scan machine people, right? And then we also learned about this comet. Can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Yeah, it's a good point. But, um... Huh. So a comet was going to destroy Earth, and they were essentially going to send out this virtual world based on scans of people at the time. Great. So suddenly things are significantly darker. Naturally. We're going to need to try to find this other room that has been unlocked. Probably this room. What happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Which further supports that we are, you know, electronic. <sighs> this is such a weird interaction. I can't wait to just figure out, like, what this actually means. Why this happens all over the place. Okay, well, I take it this was not the room we needed to go into. But I guess we found that nonetheless. I'm trying to use my ears to figure out what's going on. I have no idea which way we're supposed to go. Just kind of aimlessly wandering at the moment. It's awfully dark. Plenty of water over here. Ah, darn it. I mean, my eyes are peeled, but I thought the whole point was to not look at it. But I think it's getting further away because the distortion has slowed down. Alright. Hopefully we are safe for the time being. That's a very solid the tower and the dog for the time being, though. What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's it's so strange. Well, I mean, presumably, got hit by static. I guess one other thing to consider is the people could have tried to escape for some reason. But then the robots were left behind? And I guess when we, we are technically killing people then, when we do turn off the machinery. What is this here? Nope. Open that. Message. Chris, I've stayed up all night. Seemed like a waste to sleep. I got the TV on in the background. The newscasters are covering the incoming comet like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone has a chance to survive this thing, it would be you guys below the waves. 
I hope you were able to go on. If it's a life worth living. Looks like everything's about to hit the fan. I better hit send before the shockwave reaches us. I'm proud of you, boy. Dad. Wow. Wow, that. Now that is sad. There's really no way around this. A freaking comet killed the planet. Afraid so. You were all stranded down here. And we were the lucky ones. Holy cow. That's pretty crazy. Catherine? What? Nothing. Never mind. Some books. The real question is what happened as a result of the comet that led to all of these robots going nuts down here. So I think we're back at a sort of like main hub area. I think this is the way we came, right? But both of these doors are unlocked now. So we'll head in here. Close that. See what we have in here. Okay, so this is a little bit of a map showing Lambda HQ and where we are currently. Oh, can I, can I zoom in? No, I can't. But it does give us a little bit of an idea of how big this place is. I think we've explored quite a bit of it, actually. All right, where, which room am I aiming for? <laughs> Catherine was like, can you just like look at another room? Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the art. Okay. Sure enough, as I say that, <laughs> we arrive at the room we're supposed to go to. Opinion poll, arc environments, arc schematics, calibration survey, and arc tracker. Arc tracker. I found a tracker homed in on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let me see. Hmm. Watch it like still be on Earth. Yep. So the Ark is on Earth, presumably. The question is where? Very interesting. So the, the loading bar seems to be getting bigger as we get closer to it. So where is the arc then? Looks like we're going the wrong way. Almost. There we go. So it's like off the coast of Africa? Oh! So this is the underwater, this is the Atlantic where all of these different stations are. So the question is, which station is the Ark in? The other thing is, granted the Ark is on Earth, period, means it didn't get off of Earth after, well, before, rather, the comet hit everything. So it's not an Upsilon. Is it in Phi? Tau? That's where it is. Wow, so they're really getting nitty-gritty here. All right, so within Tau, where is it? It's probably in this last room here. Called it. <laughs> this room down here looked like an entrance. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I mean, for what it's worth, you're you're essentially a Cortex chip, right? So you can kind of inhabit anything we find that's suitable. All right, so we have the Ark tracker. What about the calibration survey? Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel alien. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel... 
how do I feel right now? I feel disconnected. How would you describe your senses? I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's disconcerting. Everything feels constructed. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Yes, I mourn my previous existence. How do you perceive your new existence? Mm, like a new chapter in my life. This is interesting. I don't... The fact that we can interact with this survey, right? Is it meaningful? Is it not? I have no idea. I wouldn't be surprised if it had some sort of impact, though, on our journey. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Maybe we could find a new sense of meaning in this world. Yeah. Would you rather be removed from the project than accept death? No. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. From the ARC team. The ARC schematics. Okay. Whole bunch of... So basically, scan the brain, turn it into ones and zeros, transmit it into the ARC, which contains all those ones and zeros. I don't really get this part. Or this part. Or this part. A little bit about this part. Trajectory into space, right? I didn't realize the arc was something physical, though. I mean, I guess it needs to have some, like, it's got to be essentially a server, right? That can maintain all of this data, so I guess it's not too surprising. Okay, arc environments. Is this from inside the arc? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Yeah, no kidding. Definitely would not mind spending time in there. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do, your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. <laughs> what else My thoughts exactly. Do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. I can understand her concern. But at the same time, what Simon said really resonated. <laughs> what what else do you have here? Right, I understand it's something new. Don't forget to take me along. The I won't, I won't. But, um, you know, there's not, like, there's nothing left here. I can understand that it's difficult to start a new chapter, to move away out, outside of your comfort zone. But when you have such a guaranteed nothingness in the, in the moment, you have to move on, right? The opinion poll? What is this? Interview number one. Robin Bass from July 7th, 2103. Why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. Okay, I mean, important uh, is certainly accurate. Don't forget to take Yes, I have not yeah. forgotten, Catherine, from when you said that a minute ago. <laughs> but yeah, it, it is important, and I think it's incredibly potent. But at the same time, it's not so oblivious. You can't be oblivious to why not, right? There are significant ethical implications. It's an ethical Pandora's box, really. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of... Um, Where did you go? Uh, uh, the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. Fair point. Why is the interview lasting so long? 
it's kind of odd. But yeah, this person must have been involved in like the engineering of it or whatever it may be. And recognizes how important it is, but how right, how difficult let's it can it. be. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is just incredible by every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. Where did I'm you go? I'm convinced uh, there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. All right, we got the philosopher in the room. Um, moving on. I imagine we will be All right, let's do greeted this. by our yeah. friend. But first, I'm curious about what's in here. Because we were able to peek into this room, I think. What is over here? Huh. I'm still so curious as to how all of this, like, machinery got so mangled, right? I can understand, oh yes, we have these machines which can, you know, take in the cortex chips from humans, so humans can live on as machines, but maintain their personality, their memories, etc. But, but when did this happen to it, right? <laughs> how did it go this awry? Is there anything else in here of note? It doesn't seem like it, so... Onward. And I think that Catherine was on the left, right? Where did you go? I'm waiting. Easy there, Sonic. I'm waiting. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. It's interesting that they associate a face, too, right, with the voice. I couldn't really tell earlier with Carl, but I'm sure that on, like, the static on the screen that was displaying Carl, it was pretty similar. Okay, something was loading there. So... Now what? So I don't think we're alone. Is my first thought. Can I go in here? No. What is... These sound effects are so spooky. We've already gone around this way. Can we go in here? This is where we hid before. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Unfortunately. Can I interact with that? No. This? No? I feel like I'm just gonna get myself killed wandering around out here. But I really don't have a clue as to where we're supposed to go. There was that map, but I thought it had shown us most of the area. I think the idea is that we are supposed to go outside again and try to find Theta that way. It seemed, if I recall correctly, that Theta was further east than where we are currently. Granted, I don't have a map to work with, so not like recalling Cardinal Directions is going to be all that helpful. Okay, so we've successfully conquered Theta, and we've obtained Catherine <laughs> to help us with our journeys. Who would have thought? An actual person, well, questionably an actual person, become part of our inventory. Another game that really talks about this sort of theme. What does it mean to be human? What does it mean to be a machine? That sort of borderline is near Automata, and that is probably one of my favorite games of the decade. 
or rather one of the most impactful, meaningful experiences I've had with a game. And for that reason, maybe one of my favorites. It's far from perfect, but it's so, so worth playing. What is going on over here? I'm pretty sure this is where we came from before. So I don't, I don't want to go backwards. That would be suboptimal, to say the least. But I don't remember this being here before. Is this an operational shuttle? If so, that'll make our lives a lot easier. Well, maybe not. Granted, how the uh, shuttle went last time. What? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Seem to be doing a pretty darn good job, Catherine. Sorry, no! Where's the shuttle? I had so much hope. The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Alright, so we'll pick up the Omni tool again and head on out. So we're supposed to find some wreckage nearby. And then within that wreckage, we are going to be hunting for another vessel that kind of looks like this. The real question is, which way do we go? I think we've already started to walk this way in the past. We had turned left, and this is what gave us insight into that window. But we can go to the right. So we'll start off by walking over this way. I think this is the new path that we had not taken before. So, what more is there to do? Although, didn't I sneak around this rock before? Oh. Why, hello there. So, we have a friend. And it looks like I can choose to sneak around on the right or the left. Why do I feel like this is backwards? I really hope this isn't backwards. Like, I really, really hope, guys. If so, I'm gonna be pretty frustrated having to walk back. This would be a time where it's great to be able to hear Catherine. Oh, it's totally backwards. I remember Lambda on the way. Okay, so... At least we didn't get too far before we realized it. Liars, all of them. Time to run for it. I ain't hiding no more. We've leveled up. We got maximum endurance here. I wonder if it's still running after me. No, it's not. Okay. So unsurprisingly, they have their own limit to how far they'll chase you. Okay. Well, at the very least, we now know where we need to go. And it's probably this way. That is probably a patrol robot. But it looks like one of the ones that was our ally. But given the static we're currently experiencing, I don't think it's going to be very friendly with us. Or is it? It actually doesn't seem to mind us at all. How odd. Oh, it's probably going to ally us with its flashlight. Right? Yeah, it's coming with us. Join it along for the ride. It was getting a little bit lonely now that I don't have Catherine talking to me. So we could probably follow these lights towards the wreckage. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if there were some robots that tried to intercept our path. But so far, so good. Just some fish. Oh! So you are our friend that we cannot look at. Jeez. A lot of weight behind your steps, that's for sure. So we're hiding now. 
I'm tempted to think that that was more of just like a jump scare moment rather than actual introduction of an enemy that's chasing us at the moment. Given the static is gone, I'm thinking it's safe to look. I wonder though, that scary enemy thing, is that us? Every time we've seen our hands and we arguably have some sort of like aquatic suit, is that what we look like? Is the enemy that we're so fearful of the entirety of the game that we can't look at? One huge metaphor for our inability to face ourselves in our current form? That would be really neat. So this looks like the wreckage that Catherine had mentioned. So let's use our Omni tool and head on in. Okay. Sunken ship. Pretty cool. Haven't played a game actually where I've spent so much time underwater in in quite some time. I'm trying to think of the last one. There's this arcade game I played that was like Ocean Hunters or something like that. That was pretty fun, but where are we going to find this ship? I mean, it's not like it's going to be hidden, right? <laughs> it's a it's a ship. We can climb up this. I'm waiting for one of these times we climb up a ladder and then something grabs us at the top and like pulls us up the rest of the ladder. That's like a very horror game thing to do, you know? Anything down this way? Uh, yes. Static. Okay. So there is a psychotic robot, a monster, an enemy at least, here somewhere. Don't know where, but they're here. It reminds me of like one of my favorite <laughs> math jokes. I'm a, I'm a total math nerd for those of you that don't know, but one of my funniest things about math is we're more likely to be able to prove that something exists rather than tell you exactly what it is, right? It's like you can have a question like, oh, what is blah, 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 blah. And the mathematician's first answer will be, well, I can prove to you that the answer exists. I don't know what it is, but it exists. Oops. So things darkened quite a bit, which is never a good sign in a horror game. And it was in response to me... Alright, we're just gonna hang tight. <laughs> it was in response to me running for like a split second. Just being impatient. So everything got really dark, and there was that really large thud, which makes me think it was our very particularly scary friend. But I didn't actually see any enemies, interestingly enough. I thought that wreckage is something we would be exploring a lot more of than we were. That it was just kind of like a little in-passing area to walk through. That was a neat environment, don't get me wrong. But is there more wreckage we're looking for? Larger wreckage? Because I think that's what we're stumbling upon now. Hmm. Yeah. What is this? This is a huge ordeal. Oh, is that a hammerhead shark? I think so. <laughs> the game's like playing this dramatic music as you like find this like huge wreckage of this thing. And here I am. Oh, is that a hammerhead shark? I'm, I'm still, you know, hesitant to, to run, but... I kind of want to hurry things up a little bit. Okay. So we've made it here. We can start climbing up some ladders, I guess. real question is, what is this? Is this Theta itself? Or are we still looking for that pod that's going to take us as a shuttle to Theta? I'm not sure. Can we open this? Oh, we can open this one. Hmm. Can we open this one? We can. 
Okay, I don't know if this is like a branching point. Okay, don't want to go that way. <laughs> that one's pretty apparent. This game doesn't seem to be one that offers too many branch points where it's like you get punished or miss out on a ton of stuff if you go one of them and lose out on whatever the other may have. It's just like growing up playing so many JRPGs where they have like these expansive maps and it's like you have to make sure you go down the wrong hallway first before you go through the one that <laughs> allows you to progress through the story. Uh, what? Seriously? <sighs> Game? We alright? Alright, we're in. Let's find a working <laughs> escape vessel. I was like, excuse me, I took like one step forward and everything darkens and I'm like, alright, we're gonna back out for a second and think for a moment. Sure enough, can't do that. But here we are in this sunken ship. This is a really cool environment. Although honestly, all of the green, it reminds me of like the Flying Dutchman ship from SpongeBob. It can't be can't be a Midnight Zero Let's Play without a SpongeBob reference. So there we go. Surprisingly our first, this many episodes in. Everything's kind of floating around. Is there anything else that's useful? That one seems locked. What about this guy over here? No, nothing too interesting. But all right, so we're looking for that shuttle. I think we're going to do that more, though, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was really nice getting to meet Catherine. We were introduced to a new enemy, and we got to spend a little bit more time underwater. And I'm looking forward to exploring the ship. This environment seems really cool. I like how the, the game changes up its scenery quite a bit and really keeps things fresh. And even though it's dark and gloomy, it's still vibrant, right? Um, which, which makes it that much more pleasant to explore. So, anyways, until the next episode... This has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.